welcome to 73 questions with the tap me thank you for having me here right who are you and where are you from so my name is shalini and i'm a second year mba student here at tap me and my hometown is both gya bihar right what made you opt for an mba career growth of course and obviously gaining more knowledge in my fields of interest right where, where are we standing right now So this is the student center here on our campus and for more convenience this is our canteen. Right. And why is this place important? We get the food we eat here. <laughs> right. Uh tell me more about this institute and why did you choose to come here? So Tabmi has a long legacy of over 40 years. Amazing alumni connect and the opportunities of networking and the best part of a student trying to get in a MBA program. They calculate an ROI and this place offers a lot. One thing you absolutely love about this place, the greenery. Is MBA life exciting or tiring? Amazingly exciting and if you are not passionate or willing, uh, it can be tiring at times. Which specialization have you opted for and why? So I'm a marketing major and I have an IT minors and so in the very first year here at Tapme you are exposed to multiple subjects and these are the two subjects that I love the most so How are your peers in your specialization? They are amazing and they are experts in the subjects they have opted for sitting with them and hearing them talk about like it's a, another level experience so where exactly is the campus located and how do you reach her so to reach the campus you either have to come to mangalore by by, by flight or have a, have to take a train to udupi and cabs and rickshaw is very easily available it's not that tough as it's look and it's easily found on google maps as well so right. it just sounds a little far off it's not that much what was your uh, expression when you uh, first saw the campus wow <laughs> uh can you show me your favorite location on this campus yeah it's the night canteen right uh what are your strengths in life strength i would say adaptability i have been to multiple places talk to multiple diverse diverse people lived in cultural differences so i think i'm very adaptable to everything Are you a member of any clubs or committees? Yes, so I'm a member of the Alumni Relations Committee and a LADC club which uh, basically tells students about their strengths and weaknesses after a few psychometric tests which help them become transformational leaders. Right. What sort of responsibilities have you taken up as part of the committees? So I'm a part of the social media team and the design team and uh, that's what I do for the Alumni Relations Committee. What has been the best experience of being a part of the committee? The best experience is one organizing events and batch meets which is really fun because you get to talk to people who are at such good levels working in such uh, known industries and at the same time they're so humble and they're so nice to you and it's, it's a very different experience for me. What is life at Tap Me like? Life at Tap Me is different every day. It's energetic, it's fulfilling sometimes. It's It's, it gives you a expi- lifetime experience which you can never forget right do you guys uh, go for parties on campus or do you get time to enjoy of course so for the first term on campus we were kind of confined because of covid and we had all the parties inside the campus which were lit but manipal again is a student town and you have a lot to explore here so parties are on as a student what is your favorite activity beyond academics on campus I love participating in case competitions, public speaking events and uh, apart from that here we have beaches very nearby so beach hopping is another activity that I have developed recently. Okay, do you get uh, time to explore the places around this campus you said you went to the beach what are all the other places that are there? So Udupi food is really famous if you go around in Bangalore you'll find restaurants that call themselves would be specialist so being in manipal if you do not explore that you're missing on it uh, apart from that there are a lot of cafes the nightlife is really good also there are a lot of serene places around like forests and uh, so you can just go on long drives and you will experience one blissful ride for sure do you miss home cooked food there is no replacement for it but the food here at our canteen as well is has a lot of variety so yes we do miss but it's good is it important to get the experience out of your comfort of home or to explore a b school life so the first few days of the uh, 
MBA were from home because we were still planning out how things will work out on campus and I can vouch for it those few days and all these days on campus have been very different from each other like 24 hours dedicating to something is of course and the networking opportunities on campus is much 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 more than at home so yes tell me a little bit about your summer internship experience which company did you crack so I was a part of Ernst & Young for two months, EY, and I was a cybersecurity consulting intern and it was an amazing experience. They were very supportive, very, you know, it felt like a family working in a team. Were you scared during the interview rounds? So uh, it was my first interview uh, on uh, for a SIP and yes, I was scared, but I did not let it show on my face and I somehow managed to crack it. What was that one question that you think make or break for you? So rest of the questions were very technical, but there was this one last question which asked, where uh, the interviewer asked me about why should they hire me as I have a financial background and I'm trying to crack into IT. So I think I showed them my willingness to learn and secondly, I understand finance and people do not care about cyber security unless finance is involved. So I think that made me a bit stand out a bit different from everybody else. Why did you choose to go for EY? EY has a brand name and for someone who's looking to shift their career, I couldn't have found a better opportunity. What are some of the things that you learned during your internship? Well, a lot of technical stuff for sure because coming from a commerce background, I had no clue what go goes in. So a lot of tech and I also learned how you can be productive working from home as my internship was online. What are some of the things that helped you have a successful internship experience? The faculty mentors, they guided me a lot. People from TAPME who were already in EY and uh, also I think putting a little effort into knowing what goes into this kind of work or this field beforehand helped me a lot. Right. Uh, what kind of help did you get from the faculty members? So uh, they basically gui behavioral guidance is the first thing you get how to behave, how to talk at that place because most of us were in a corporate setup for the very first time. And second, there's this report that you're supposed to produce after the internship is over. And I was really very glad to have a mentor who helped me a lot through it. Right. Did you get help from peers as well? Yes. Right. Uh, uh, how many students are there in the classroom? So it varies from almost like 55 to 60 students in each section and there are different cohorts who also have 30 to 40 students uh, but the main PGDM core has almost 55 to 60 students in each section. Wow, that's a lot of students. Huh? Yeah. Okay, so is there a favorite corner that you have in this campus where you sit Yes, and right here. If you see very clearly the sunset view from this place is amazing. If you go sit like on the slab outside, it gives you an amazing sunset view. Wow, I'm looking forward to that when the sun sets today. Okay, uh, where do you get the much needed break from a hectic day of studies? I would say sitting with my friends for a few hours, maybe canteen, ranting about the day. It's, it's really amazing sometimes. Do you helpful. spend uh, late nights during case study preparations and assignments? Yes, <laughs> a lot of late nights. Are you sleep deprived? Maybe by choice, because I do not want to miss on those 2 a.m. conversations over coffee and Maggie. How many hours of sleep do you get in uh, a regular day? A regular day is six to seven hours. Why did you choose consulting as the way to go for you? So I came here with a very open mind, like I wasn't restricted, like I want to do this or that. I explored in the first year and a lot of alumni who come on the campus and tell you about their own profession. I found consulting really interesting and I have always been a jack of all trades. So consulting is something that lets you practice that in real. What are the next steps you're taking to become a consultant? For now, I'm just being very active and trying to learn a lot of things that uh, you can say trends going on and a lot more in the industry and uh, trying to see how people have grown in the, uh, their career where I'm coming from. So all these things are going to help me for sure. Who are some of the eminent personalities who have come to this college? So for the convocation for the batch of 22, Honorable Minister Nirmala Sitaraman visited the campus and she is an 
inspiration for real to hear from the very front and i know these two personalities should not be mentioned in the same sentence but uh, one of the events organized by lime karunesh talwar he's a mumbai based comedian visited right uh, what is the alumni connect like here so the alumni are very approachable anybody on the campus of the campus who wants to connect with each other they are very friendly also the college facilitates uh, like the events like aspire and uh, disha where the alumni visit the campus and they ha- they are organizing panels and you can also go talk one on one and they are very friendly they talk to you they guide you mentor you in all ways uh, do you get uh, to meet these alum members from the industry Yes, easily, very easily. So their batch meets coming up very next month, and they'll be visiting the campus. You can meet them then, or there's an official uh, vision uh, initiative by the by a few committees here, where there are few students one on one mentoring takes place for them, and yes, we can very easily connect to them. Shalini, we heard that you are a YouTuber. Yes. Since when uh, are you doing YouTube? I would say on and off since February 2019. Right. Uh, what is your content like, and uh, do you get time to pursue that here? So I mostly like doing some chill commentary on trending topics, and you know, just things that people want to hear about. My opinion and people around me their opinion on the same topics. Do you feature your friends also on your channel? With consent, sometimes. Right. Uh, analyst by day, content creator at lunch, and cinephile at night. How do you go about managing all this? So I think it's all about passion and willingness. If you are willing to do things, you won't. You never feel that fatigue. You still go back to your rooms, find a new movie for the day, and watch it before sleeping. I just, I just feel so passionate about learning things and doing them at the same time. Is your campus diverse? A lot. You call it. Gender diversity. We have more than forty percent girls, which is increasing with every batch. Uh, we have people from all the geographies. So coming, so I have lived in Maharashtra. I have lived in Bihar. So I was very skeptic. Like I'll get people from the south since it's located in Karnataka. But there are a lot of people from north, east, west, south, everywhere. And you go like subject-wise diversity. You find all sorts of diverse people here. What do you do during your weekends? Weekends. If it was a hectic week, sleep through it. If it was a fun one, maybe go out, explore new places, find new food, and uh, sometimes also completing assignments if there is something huge coming up. How are the nearby areas uh, to have fun? So this was one of the reasons of joining Tap Me. This is a student town. There are some. Thirty-five thousand students all in the city, wow. and you can imagine the energy of like undergrad students around you. So, the nightlife is amazing because of the same reason, and you have a lot, lot to explore if you're really willing to. Uh, do you enjoy the weather here? Ah, uh, that's a question mark. But yes, it's mostly nice, rainy sometimes, sometimes very sunny. So it's a very mix, like the diversity of the crowd. Right. Do you think your campus is inclusive enough of ideas and new challenges? Definitely. There are a lot of people who keep coming up with new ideas, new initiatives, and the faculty is so approachable. You can literally go up to anybody and share your ideas or share your thoughts over something, and they are they welcome it with a very open heart and even challenge you about the same. So, and no matter you are, you they have taught you or not. They are very open about it. Right. What is the need of the R for an MBA student today? Stay up to date. There are new things coming every day. Every morning you wake up to a new news, a new tech, or something like that coming up. Stay up to date. Second, don't shy away or hesitate in questioning people or anybody around you because this is your time. You cannot go back to you. You'll never get this time again to question people. Is so, there something yes. that you want to change about Apni? I would say the slope. If this question was asked around a year ago, but now we are very acquainted to it, so no, nothing as such. What are some of the things that you wanted to change about yourself before coming here? Yes. Okay. So, one, I was really bad at time management, and second, I always thought I am good at communicating, but I never really had that sort of content, uh, you know, that perfection with content. So this is something I think I am learning and still learning here. 
What are some of the hobbies you have developed after coming here? Photography, I would say. You look at the flora and fauna here. Everything clicked on this campus looks beautiful. So I think that is somebody something everybody has developed after coming here. Right. How do you go about spending your tough days on campus? So it mostly goes either in my room because my room has got an absolute gorgeous view of the valley and otherwise sitting with people that I consider very close on this campus, crying or ranting about it. So yeah, that's how tough days go. How is your mental health now? For now, it's on its peak. Best. <laughs> Do you think it is needed for B-Schools to have a mental wellness facility? Of course. Like, see, no matter how much we say that if you're passionate or willing, everything is good. But some days are tiring and to, you know, feel free to talk to somebody and not feel judged. It's very important. And we have a facility here at TAPME and I have had reviews from a lot of people that it has been very helpful for them. How do you deal with pressure? Dealing with pressure? I think I don't. I just take it as a challenge and no, work on it, find a solution, go ahead with it. Uh, do you feel pressure because of the peers and expectations from outside? I won't say I have ever experienced external pressure. But yeah, before coming here, I had set some goals for myself. So there is a lot of internal pressure. I don't think any external pressure can exceed that ever. How excited are you for the life beyond TAPME? Is there a word for excited, nervous, all together at the same time? And so, yes, very I, much. Are you thinking about packages right now? No matter how much I deny, every student thinks of it in the back of the mind. So, Right. Uh, who is going to be the right person to ask about you on campus? Okay, so there are like three, four people on this campus that we have cried together, went out together, done cases together, went to classes together. So they have seen like 24-7 of you. So I think they would be the perfect people to ask. Are you going to keep these friendships out of the campus? Definitely, yes. It has taken a very long time to trust a few people here. So I'm definitely keeping them. Have you become a better communicator after coming here? I would say I was very confident in talking even before coming and that's how I feel I cracked the interviews for the B schools as well. But then I have gained the knowledge which, over which I can build up and talk more about it. So better communicator. What has changed professionally in you in these two years? I have become more sincere to deadlines. And uh, you know, I have just left that uh, laid back attitude somewhere uh, over the past year. Uh, is there a favorite quote that you applied here? I don't have a quote, but the slope we are walking on, we, we have to walk this every day for classes. And uh, I hear to Dangal title song and every word of it, somehow I resonate to it. So yes. Uh, YouTube or consulting? Sorry? YouTube or consulting? Can I not do both? Like sharing my consulting experience on YouTube? Absolutely, you can. Uh, would you recommend people to join TAPME? Definitely. I have had like the finest experience, the expectations that I set for myself for the next two years. It's, I have all, had it all, so. Okay, the question number 73, what would be your message to people watching this? I would say, take a deep breath, take a leap of faith. You don't know what life has to show you. Lovely. Uh, I won't take any more of your time and I would let you go and enjoy your sunset because the sun is also setting. And all the best for your life and thank you for appearing today. Thank you so much for having me. Bye-bye.